Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we're going to continue on with our Bootstrap Basics course here. And uh, we've built this little site from scratch. We put in a nav bar yesterday and showed you how you could reposition things. Today we're going to work on the nav bar brand or the logo up here. We're going to restyle the text and we're also going to insert an image logo as well. So let's get started. Here's our folder with our files in it. We created our index.html for our page here. Our custom CSS for our styling. There's two little images that we just used to demonstrate how you can put an image behind the nav bar there. So I'm going to be using a text editor today. I'm using the free one brackets. You can download it from a link below this video. Like I say, it's totally free. It's got some great features. Or you can follow along with any text editor of your choice. So I've already got these open in brackets. If you hadn't, you can just right click and say open with brackets or whatever your text editor is. And once they're open, this is what we've got. Here's our custom CSS style sheet as you can see it's not got much in it at the moment and here's our index.html which is our site and the bit we're going to be working on today is the navbar brand which is my bootstrap site which is what it says right here so if I just bring that back let's make it simple I'm going to just change that to bootstrap by just deleting this text or changing the text here make sure you don't clip off those little pointy tags there because things won't work correctly if you start lopping off tags so we know this is called navbar brand I'm just going to save that control s go back to our site that should have changed to bootstrap now there we go now what well, I'm using Google Chrome here the Chrome browser I'm going to be using the inspector tools tools to just see how I want to change this text and then copy it over to my style sheet. All I'm going to do is right click on the bootstrap, the navbar brand there and hit inspect. And it's going to bring up our inspector tabs here. Yours may be in a different position, but you'll still have these two tabs here. You change position with the three little dots over here. You can put it where you want. I like mine on the bottom though most of the time okay and as long as you've got the elements tab selected on one and the styles on the other you'll have your HTML under the elements tab and the CSS under the styles tab so let's just bring this up a little bit there we go and as we can see here's our HTML here's our navbar brand and it says bootstrap so what do we want to do with it well there's the actual navbar brand right there we can we can simply put what we want to do here or we can put it in here and write in our class names let's let's just do this so let's say first thing i want to do is perhaps make the font bigger so i'm going to say font size let's make it 40 pixels as you can see that's made it a lot bigger that's fine and I want it sort of fatter as well so let's make it bold font weight and I'm typing this in here and everything we do here as soon as you hit refresh it's going to disappear this is non-destructive so don't worry about messing up your site so I'm just left clicking to add a new entry and the cursor's appearing there I'm going to say font weight Bold. And don't worry too much about squinting and trying to follow along and copy the CSS as I'm doing it. I'll put this CSS below the video and you're welcome to use it if you need to and manipulate it any way you want. So we made that bold, that's a bit better looking. What if we have it as all caps? Let's let's make it all caps so it's text and we want to transform it to transform and let's say uppercase
There we go, that's all caps now. Alright, what else do we want to do to it? Well, I wouldn't mind changing the colour of it. Let's make it purple, just for... Because Bootstrap's got a purple logo, so why not? So we'll just say colour. When I put the colour in, it might not change first. Yeah. Oh, it has actually changed, that's fine. We may have to add important after that when we actually put it in our style sheet. That's fine. And perhaps a little text shadow. What should we say? Not much, sort of three picks, three picks, five picks. So we'll go three pixels left and right three pixels up and down you can see something happening there already and we'll give it a five pixel spread there we go kind of a bit blurry looking and we'll make the color because it's actually purple at the moment let's make it a dark gray and one i use quite often is 777 so it's hashtag 777 it's actually six sevens but with css3 you only have to use three if they're all the same there we go, that'll do fine. That's a nice little box shadow. And last but not least, let's move it over. I want a bit of a gap between the left hand side and the logo. And I actually wouldn't mind a bit of a gap between the logo and the menu here, but we might move the menu central to keep things easy okay so let's make a gap so what I want to do is I'm gonna say margin to the left hand side you could use padding also in this case but I'm going to use margin I'm going to say margin the left say a hundred pixels there we go that's done it fine that's about where I want my logo there I may pull it a bit more over in in an, another video. Okay, well let's leave that as is. That's just one way of decorating your navbar brand. But we this is not permanent, so we've got to put it in our style sheet. So if I copy this, just left clicking and dragging, Control C to copy, and I've got all our elements there. You'll notice if I hit refresh, this will all go back to how it was, because like I say, when you editing with the in Chrome Inspector like this, it's non-destructive. You're just sort of doing it in real time only with the one that you're watching on screen here. So now we've copied that, let's go back to our style sheet. Custom CSS here. And it's the navbar brand we want to affect. See, navbar brand is the class. So if we do dot navbar brand, open, close some curly brackets, we can just add that CSS we just wrote and copied and it should affect that. So let's go down. I'll leave it under navbar decoration because it's sort of all included in there. So it's dot and the class was navbar dash brand. And we need to open and close some curly brackets and simply paste what we wrote in between. There it is. Now, I'm wondering if that color is actually going to work. We may have to force that using that important right there. So let's save it, Control S, and we'll go back to our site. When I refresh, hopefully that'll grow and move over to where it was. There we go. Well, it's done it. And like I say, that purple hasn't happened. The reason it hasn't happened is because the navbar brand's already assigned a color which is probably black there. And we need to overwrite those styles. So we have to say important in our CSS to force it to do so. So if we go back, and I'm going to simply write after the purple exclamation mark important. And you don't want to really use the important if you don't have to. But I think in this case we're going to have to, so we need to use it. Now when I refresh, there we go, it's turned purple. So that's fine. 
Fantastic. Now, what if we want to put a logo there instead of having just text like that? I mean, like I say, you can style your text pretty much how you want, but obviously a logo would be preferable. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we go back to our HTML and go to our navbar brand, navbar brand, and the href is the link. When you click on it, if it's just a hashtag, all it's going to do is go to the top of the page again. So that's fine. Or you can put in the URL, your home URL, and then any page that's got this logo, if it's got the home URL in there, we'll go back to the home page. We'll demonstrate that at a later date. Okay, so we want to change this text into an image or a logo. So to do that, we've got to tell it we need an image. So I'm going to select the bootstrap again, making sure not to chop off any of the pointy tags there for our anchor tag. And I'm going to open a, a new set of pointies. And I'm going to say image, IMG, which is short for image. Then we've got to tell it where this image is. So we'll say source SRC equals and then open and close some inverted commas and it's already found all these images that are in our thing but I haven't actually got a logo in there at the moment these are all the images that are in our folder here I pull this folder over we have got BG1 BG2 custom CSS and index.html and none of those are a logo and because it's in our root folder our main folder that has our index HTML and custom CSS our root folder it finds it straight away later on we'll be putting our images into a separate folder and I'll show you how to locate them that way so we need to find a logo so let's just leave that it is it's red because it's telling me I haven't put a closing tag on there let's just do that stop that warning there and I've also spelled image wrong IMG that's not gonna work IMG for image there we go and let's delete the bit we don't want so there we are there's our opening pointy image SRC inverted commas there in between which we'll put our logo when I find one and the closing tag there so let's quickly get a logo and put it in here there we go I've now put a logo in here it's called logo 80 and it's a PNG a portable network graphic image or ping so let's put that in there it's called logo 80.png because it's P portable network graphic okay so go back up to where we are image source now I'm going to say logo, it'll find it probably. No. 80.png. There it's found it, because if I hover over it, you can see it. There it is, it gives you a little preview there. So that's fine, let's just save that. And my logo happens to be 80 high, that's why I called it logo 80 save that control s and go back to our site and refresh this should disappear and a logo should pop in there now because we still got our css for our navbar brand it's still pushing it over there's nothing the text css can't do anything to it we don't need any of that css now so let's put that in there nicely and if you need to pull it up or pull it down, you can just use a bit of margin with your CSS. So if I right click and inspect again, and grab the navbar brand, navbar brand, left click on it. And here's all our CSS we had here. I can give it, if I want to move it up, I can give it a margin top and give it a negative value, which you can use with margins, but not with padding. So I'm going to say margin top and I'm going to say negative or minus five picks as you can see that jumped it up a little bit right there 
I mean, you can go silly and put it wherever you want. If I put 25 picks, it's halfway through the ceiling there. And if you want it to go down, just put a regular, not a minus amount, and it'll push it down by that much. As you can see, that's pushed that down 25 picks. It's also made our nav bar a lot wider. But I think we wanted to go up by five picks. So it's just minus five picks. I think that's going to work fine. So I'll just copy that line. Just the one line there. Control C to copy. Back to our brackets, to our custom CSS. And I'm going to put this in just underneath there. I'm actually going to comment out all the stuff we don't need because there's no point it being there. We're not going to use it. So like I say, I'll leave this below the video, but I'm actually, well, I'm just going to delete it. We don't need any of this stuff here because we've no longer got text there to affect. But we do want it left 100 and top minus 5 picks. Save that. Back to the site refresh let's get that inspector out of the way and there you have it there's how to decorate your nav bar brand or add a logo image to your bootstrap site very easy and really useful thing to do i hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel if you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.